Hello. I would like to welcome James Burke to my web series. James Burke is a science historian, author, television producer, and a futurist. He has written for Scientific American, New Scientist, Vogue, Time Magazine, and the Encyclopedia Britannica Online. He has created and presented many television shows for the BBC, including the major television series Connections and The Day the Universe Changed. James Burke has lectured to audiences worldwide, including at the Smithsonian, MIT, NASA, IBM, Microsoft, the European Parliament, and the U.S. National Security Agency. He is currently in the process of developing a new Connection series about our future. Did you have a favorite episode of the old Connection series? Gee, no, I didn't, not really. No, they were all... I like them all for different reasons and different ways. I'm sorry not to give you a good, easy answer where you can run a clip, but <laughs> I can't. can't. I, well, I definitely really liked the end of the Wheel of Fortune. The paraphernalia of people's private lives. And yet, is there one object here that thousands of other people don't own? All of it made by machine. Not one object uniquely, individually, me. And if I'm not here, where am I? As well as, of course, the rocket launch scene. Um, <laughs> the rocket launchers. Actually, that was my favorite shot. Do you know, you're talking about the one where I point and it takes off? If you release those two gases into a confined space with a hole at the other end of it and mix them as you do so, and then set light to them, you get that. Do you know, we went back to the BBC and we said, look what we've got. And they said, what's this? And we said, look, and we ran it. And they said, oh yeah, back projection. We said, no, it's not back projection. And, the, and, and they said, what do you mean the audience doesn't know? We said, no, you cannot change focus to back projection. Back projection is something hanging like one foot away. And you can see the camera change focus for a period, a distance of at least three miles, which in fact it was. And they said, well, the audience doesn't know that. And we said, the audience doesn't know about back projection. And they said, they're all right. But nobody said good. <laughs> Poor you guys. Oh my goodness. Well, what was it like traveling around for connections? Oh, uh, that was that's the least interesting thing of all, because you know, people often say, you know, oh, you went to the South Pole, what was it like? I don't know. I was too busy filming. Because, you know, it costs an enormous amount of money to send a film crew around the world. You know, there's hotels and flights and blah, blah, blah. So you tend to come in, shoot and get out. And, you know, you might go to the bar and have a drink and that's it. But the next day you get on the plane, you go somewhere else. So you never get to see anywhere. And that's probably the worst thing about it. Uh, if, the, the best thing about filming on location is the challenge, really. I mean, because quite often you'll turn up and it's not the way the locals told you it was, you know, and you have to rejig and restructure and rewrite. And at uh, many occasions, I was sitting at you know, dinner the night before with the crew, writing the script for the next day because it wasn't what we expected. Um, so it was a sort of challenge.